G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. Today I'm going to um, show you how I designed a uh, square for the laser bed so that I can put pieces in there um, and know that they're square um, and also make a couple of T-squares to run along it. It's just a little improvement uh, to the uh, laser machine that I have uh, which is an 80 watt red and black Chinese laser. It's uh, been working really well and I hope you enjoy this uh, little improvement video. You start by placing masking tape on the laser bed at the lowest corner you want to put the square on and then you set the laser to cut at the edge of both axes. In my case this was um, X0 and Y500. Once that's cut you can then peel the uh, inside tape off and that gives um, a guide for placing the board up against. So using your drawing program, uh, draw up a ruler for the x-axis um, and then uh, you can use the um, repeat array tool to create one of these, uh, spacing them one millimetre apart and then just making it as long as you need. Then uh, using the tape that we uh, just cut, use that as a guide to set the board on. Um, so that'll uh, the board's going to form the square. So you place the x axis, sorry, the y axis edge about 25 millimeters past the uh, x zero y 500 point. Um, so as you can see here, uh, then just c commence the cutting at the fastest speed, low power, just enough to mark the board but not cut all the way through. Now using your design tool again, um, make another rule for the uh, Y axis, placing each line one millimeter apart and repeating that array um, until there's enough to go up the length of that uh, Y axis. And now place the board along the, um, the tape, but this time place the X axis edge 25 millimeters past the, uh, the bottom section so that when it uh, cuts, it'll cut down to a corner and just use the same speed, nice and fast, low power, just enough to mark the board, but not cutting all the way through. Now what you want to do is place the board with the X0, Y500 point close to the corner of the two axis rulers. Um, and then we're going to drill and screw the uh, board to the laser bed. While we're doing this, I'd just like to thank my mate Wayne for giving me the idea for this improvement project and he has a similar setup on his machine and it works really well. Okay, so next what we're going to do is cut out the board, leaving the new square in place. So using a, a rectangle to the maximum size of your cutting area, in my case it was 700 by 500 millimetres, I cut this out starting at X0, Y0. 
Uh, you can cancel the job once the two sides have been made or you could just change this up and actually just make a right angle rather than a rectangle. Now you can um, place pieces along the edge and you know they'll be square to whatever axis you place it along. And the last part of this little uh, improvement project is to make some T-squares. So I'm just using uh, Lightburn here again just to make some um, T-squares, just nice and simple. Um, these um, are going to be different sizes, so one roughly um, the length of the y-axis and one approximate length of the x-axis, just so that you can use them to make an intersection point uh, from both axes. So that's quite, uh, quite helpful. So basically I'm just going to make two of these, lay them out and cut them. So these T-squares are useful for finding a mark on the laser bed. So in this point I've put the two squares intersecting, origin the laser head to the top corner, place the circle in there which is 100mm diameter. Using this design program I've made an outer circle at 100mm diameter and an inner circle a bit smaller with text in the centre. So I've made the outer edge not cut. So that's just there as a reference for the laser as part of the cut area. So now if I actually start that, send it to the laser, everything should go well. My name should be in the middle and we'll have a circle uh, just engraved around the edge. So that seemed to have worked well. So a full um, set of instructions on this video have been provided down in the description. So if you press the little down arrow, you'll see it down there. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. It's uh, just been a, a quick little improvement tip on um, my uh, Chinese red and black laser. Uh, so um, I hope you've enjoyed it, maybe you get something out of it. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments below, uh, maybe uh, ideas and tips for myself. I like to learn as well as those that are, are watching as well. Um, if you haven't already, press the uh, subscribe button and there's a bell. Make sure you click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I um, update more videos. And uh, until next time, take care. Cheers. I just wanted to thank all my subscribers and viewers. Uh, one of my older videos has now reached 100,000 views. So that's quite an achievement for me. And I'm looking forward to making some more great videos that you all enjoy. Thank you.